Hello everybody, it's Paro and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. We're here in the basement of our house and we're going to be gathering some resources so we can finish off the Swan Lake Cafe. All we need to do now is add some furniture and some decorations and I think we're ready to add in some um, waiters and waitresses and also some chefs. So that's what we'll do, we'll grab some resources. I spent the whole morning mining and look how many stacks of iron we've got. And that is great because you need a load of it to make some of the things we need. And I think we'll start with things in the kitchen. I will grab myself some of these iron bars. And I've also emptied out my backpacks as well. Just to make everything a lot more organised. Okay, so we'll start off with the oven because that's like the main essential thing that you need in the kitchen and look how many blocks it needs a blocks of iron so it needs eight blocks of iron and each iron block uses nine iron ingots so I don't think we, we're going to be able to make as many ovens as I like but we need a furnace and I'm not sure where that is it must be in this misc items or perhaps we don't even have a furnace we're going to have to make one but that's probably the easiest thing we're going to be making today so it's just this it's simple and we've got to make the iron blocks see look how many iron that used it used almost a stack and I think we'll make two ovens I don't think we're going to have enough iron though okay so what was it again? The oven. It was a furnace surrounded by a block of iron. And from what I remember, these aren't even good irons. I think we're going to make irons. They're not even good ovens. So I think we're going to make some harvest craft ones as well. Because they look... Actually, let's, let's test it out. Because we only need that many. Let's test it out. We'll make ourselves a harvest craft oven. And what, how does this work? Oh, it's basically like a furnace. But actually, I think that looks better. I like that a lot. So I think we're going to make a few of those and not waste all our resources on the... Uh, what, what's, what's the mod called? The furniture mod. Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. So let's make ourselves a couple of furnaces. I think... Actually, I think three would do it. So, three ovens in the kitchen. And simply like this. Okay, and what else? So, we've got the oven. I think we're going to make ourselves a dishwasher. If I can spell that right. And that needs clay, cyan stained clay, iron bars, and blocks of quartz. So we've got ourselves some sun stained clay. I need another another couple of blocks. So let's smelt this. We have seven. And yeah, so we'll smelt these. These harden these clay into hardened clay. And we'll grab ourselves our quartz blocks, which I think are kept here. Yes, they are. Okay, what else can we make while that is busy? There are some things you can make in props, like a dish rack or something, or a cut cutlery rack. Well, let's just have a rack. I know there's something in the deco craft mod that... Maybe I'm imagining things. But there must be. Yeah, here, spice rack. And what's this? Okay, so we need spice rack. Oh, but how cool would a coat rack be? That would be perfect. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll grab our clay, our deco craft clay. And spice rack is this. So we'll make ourselves, I think, three of these. And two, three, one, two, three. There we are, three spice racks. And let's make the coat rack. Ah. Oh. We only have one. We only have one of the blue clay. How do we make this? Uh, recipe. 
So we need lapis, sand and dirt, and that is very easy to do. Look at all this dirt, look at, let's say look at all this sand, but we don't have much. And look at all this lapis. Like, I can't actually believe that I spent the first couple of days on the server shearing sheep to turn into lapis when I've got so much now. Oh, and it makes so much of this of the the clay as well. So top, yeah, coat wrap with the top hat on is like this. Wait, let's only make one. There we are. So we have the coat rack. Uh, what else are these? So what about pots and pans? Must be able to buy. Buy. Must be able to build. Uh, something that's got pots and pans on. There must be. No? It's just listing all the clobby potato ores. Is that honestly nothing? I can't see anything. No. Oh, what's that? Harvestcraft pot. That is cool. <laughs> but we'll make some utensils I think another time. But what we'll do is we will grab our hardened clay that should have smelted by now. I think it has. And we need to surround it with uh, some cyan dye. I don't know why the dishwasher needs cyan dye. This is oddly specific. But that's okay. And how do we make this again? So dishwasher. Yeah. Okay, so we need a furnace, we have a furnace, we need our cyan clay, and our three blocks of quartz. And here's our dishwasher. Okay, let's put let's put everything that we're going to place in the cafe in here. So we've got our dishwasher, we've got our spice rack, we've got the coat rack, and we've got our three ovens. And now we need to make the furniture, and I want to make it all jack around the wood. And if you see here on the right, uh, there's this jack around the table. The, well, the, it's all in the Bibliocraft mod. And we have the jack around the table and the jack around the seat. And we have to give the seats backs. And I'm, I wonder which one will look good in our restaurant. I think we're either going to go with this one uh, or this one. Though... I think this one uses less resources, so we're, we're going to make a few of these. And, well, yesterday I thought I was being inventive by using that collapsible carpenter's block on that barrier to make the little sign-in place. And you were like, no, there's one in the Bibliocraft mod. And yes, I know, <laughs> but I was trying to be creative. But if you all insist, I will change it to, yeah, I think it's this desk here this dark oak desk yeah so let's change it to that oh I think we should make some plates as well I think that needs quartz yeah that needs quartz so we can do that oh and some cookie jars they'd look good in the kitchen <laughs> yeah let's make some of those uh, so we'll start off with the dark oak desk we need a feather a torch dark oak slabs and dark oak planks okay let me just get rid of some stuff I went yeah as I was mining I was going across oceans and I found this clam in sand and basically when that is underwater it makes bubbles appear and I thought that would be really cool to give to Seri as like little um, decorations in her aquarium to see like little bubbles floating up so I'm gonna see if I can gather a few more of those and I will give them to her. I think I might even show you how they work. But I won't do that right now. Uh, I need feather. And I think I have some torches in my backpack. Oh, I've got black candles. Okay. I don't think we can use those. Have we got any proper torches? Oh, we're going to have to make some. It's been a while since I've made torches. But let's, let's do this. Wow, so many torches. Okay, so... And we only need one as well. But here we are. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. So our dark oak desk. 
and we'll put that in here. And hang on, what am I doing? I'm putting these planks back, that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to put the coal there, and I'm going to put some of these torches away as well, because we don't need all of those. We have another quartz slot we don't need. We've got dirt we don't need. Uh, what? Okay, so jacaranda, the jacaranda seats. So to make these seats, we need sticks, slab, wall, and pressure plate. So we can do the sticks perfectly fine. Let's grab these two stacks. We can do the jacaranda wood slabs pretty fine. The pressure plate, let's use a different type of wood for that. We'll use the jungle wood planks. And the wall might be a bit of an issue because I've only got one block. That was one of the chests that was destroyed when I accidentally world edited my house into oblivion. Though we can turn some string into wool. And yeah, that's what we'll do. And I think I've still got some sheep. Though I'm not sure whether I can use red wool, but let's let's test it out. So these are my sheep that I dyed red, and I can't remember why exactly we dyed them red. It must have been for something, for some reason. And let, let's see. Sorry sheep, you've got to stay in there. Okay. So slabs. We are going we only need don't need many. Let's take Okay, let's make a stack. Or, yeah, let's make that many. And we need to make some pressure plates. So let's just do this a few times. Uh, I'm not sure how many chairs we made. Let's make about 30. Do you reckon that will do it? No, 20, 20. 20 will do. Uh, there we are. Okay, so. Let's see how we make these again. So we need sticks either side, we need pressure plates there, we need slabs here. Can we use the red wall? We can't use the red wall. Okay, so let's put this wall in here. We're going to have to turn these straight into wall, which is simple enough. Can we use this now? We can, and we can make ourselves some of those. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head upstairs and gather some of that Spanish moss. Unless we still have some... No, we don't have any in there. Uh, no. Wait. We have bones. Let's take a few of these. And turn those into bone meal. And we'll grab this red wool. Let's... Oh, why does that not work? Can you not do that? Oh, okay. I thought I could dye it. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll head upstairs. And, oh, into the garden with all my p-file. And, yeah, I know I said before that all these exotic birds mod... All the, no, all the birds in the exotic birds mod are going to disappear when we update it and that means all these lovely p file are going to disappear but don't worry because I, I will add them back in because it was it was quite a nice surprise and I actually oh my gosh what are they all doing over here <laughs> they were stuck I wondered where they were all, where they'd all got to but they were all, like stuck in this corner okay well yeah we'll have to sort these out um, what was I doing? Okay, yeah, I was showing you this cl clam. Look, you put it down, and you can see there's like it starts um, bubbling. And sometimes when you come across them, they they have like streams of bubbles that go up. So it doesn't seem to be doing yeah, sort of a bit like that. So I think that would look good in Ceres Aquarium. But obviously it's up to her. So if I find some more of those, I'm gonna give them to her. Because I think they'd be cool. And yeah, what we're doing is we're going to harvest our Spanish moss. And there seems to be an escaped p -file. Do you want to go back and join your friends? 
Let me just open this gate. There, you can go in. There we are. And we'll just get rid of this moss. Yeah. And, oh, is it growing on the side here? I didn't realize. Okay, so this goes straight into string, and we can make normal wool from that. Though not a lot. I thought we'd get more. What What are you doing, Mrs. Peafowl? Mrs. Peahen, what are you doing? But, okay. And we'll head down here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that bow meal. I will dye my sheep. Right, sorry about that, I forgot to turn Skype off, so that notification was a bit annoying. If you didn't hear it, ignore what I just said. Okay, so I'm going to dye these sheep with bone meal, and that will give them normal wool, and I think my shears are going to break. Yes, my shears are broken. And I think the only other shears we have are silk touch ones, which I don't really want to use. But, wait, do I have iron? Oh, I do have iron. Let's just make another pair. That's what we'll do. And they've all been sheared anyway. Uh, excuse me, sheepy. Stay there, thank you. And, let's use the wall. Okay, and we need to make the seat backs, but let's just put these away first. So we can make, we've made 20 seats and we need seat back. So we need sticks like this and we need wool and, okay, so yeah, so sticks like this. Yeah. So I need more sticks, don't I? Uh, how do I take these all? Okay, we need some more wool, but I think that will do for the moment. Uh, our sheep are going to be... Oops, okay, let's keep that door open, it's a bit annoying. But let's... No, don't escape, don't escape. Let's keep that one closed. Uh, there we are. Oh no, sheepy, please stay, please stay, please don't, please don't come out. Uh, and we've got six and we're missing sticks now we're missing sticks again and there we are so how many how many have we got left to make we need six more before we can head off to the cafe I think we're going to turn them into these seat backs I think we might, because all that needs is a wood slab. But we'll see when we're at the cafe, and we will test everything out there. That sheep is red. I obviously didn't dye that one. Uh, come on, sheepy, please, please regrow. I only need, oh, I need three more, three more sheep. Three more. Two more. Two more sheep, sheep, please. Please, please eat some grass. Come on! Oh my goodness. I didn't realise that this would take quite so long. Oh, perhaps they don't... Perhaps they're a bit self-conscious and they won't eat while I'm looking at them. Let's try. And... Hey! It worked! We just need one more. One more! Okay, I'm not going to look. Come on, sheepy. Eat some grass. Eat some grass. Ah, it, there we are. <laughs> that last one gave us, like, two blocks. Oh. No, sheepy. Sheepy, please go back in. Go back in. Please, please. Please. Oh, no, they're all escaping. Is that one in or out? I can't tell. But, oh, well, we'll sort that out later. Now we have 
run out of sticks. It's always the way. Once I finish something, I get another problem. So. I don't know how many sticks. No, that's not even enough sticks. We need another. Let's just turn them all into sticks. That's what we'll do. And Jack Randallwood and wool. There, we have finally made all our seats. And okay, let's head off to the Peafowl Cafe. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Peafowl. You laid an egg. And another egg. Okay, so it is definitely coming along, and I think it's looking really good. So the first thing I'm going to do is empty my inventory, put all this stuff away. Cause I don't need string, I don't need lapis, I don't need these eggs, and I have a dolphin. I found a dolphin this morning, so. That dolphin needs an exhibit, but let's get everything out. Uh, we'll grab our dark oak desk and our seats and our coat rack. So I'm going to get rid of this. I thought my lovely construction was lovely, but obviously you all disagree. And put that there. Um, I need to put a book on it, but. Okay. Uh, oh, I also put these little barriers here because I thought they look nice to separate off the uh, sort of the walkway from the restaurant. And I was even thinking that we could knock this down a block and put some stairs, but I'm not sure. I think it's I think it's fine. Uh, where should we put the coat rack? Here by the door. Yeah, that looks good. And in here we need our ovens and our tables and stuff. So let's put these in. Um, yeah, so I think we'll go oven, oven. Oh, Devon's come to join us. Excuse me, Devon. Oven, oven, oven. And we should have brought some marble with us, really. I don't think I have any on me. Nope, but I think we're going to put some marble countertops at the back here and a table in the middle which we will hang the spice racks from and we'll put the dishwasher... Oh, we need a sink. Why Why did I not think of these things? So if I put the dishwasher there and I put a sink here... Uh, can, how do I make a sink? So sink... Uh, stone basin, yeah, this is what I want. Which is iron surrounded by stone. I don't have any smooth stone on me, but, which is a shame. But yeah, this is the kitchen, and these spice racks are going to go above a table. So I'm going to have to keep these on me for the moment. And we can start working on the cafe. So we'll get our... Oh, I didn't make tables. Didn't make tables. Feels so silly. But we'll put our chairs down and the the backs of the chair. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted. How do I get rid of this? No, not like that. Where's my axe? Axe, where are you? And I'm breaking breaking the walls. So how do I do this? No, that's not what I wanted. What? Why are you doing this? No. Okay, this is not working and I don't know why. I need to put... No, oh, there we are. Why did that work? Oh, so I need to click at the back. No, what? What? What is happening? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure... Why, why did that go there? Chair problems. Okay. Uh, let's try. Yeah, okay, so that works. That's good. So we need tables. And we'll put the other one here. Let's see. This works. 
and here. Yeah. Okay, and can we fit another? We can fit another one in, but I think we're going to make. So it's three wide, isn't it? So one, one three. Um, I think I can fit two tables for two in. So if we go like this. Yeah. Or. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll, I'll put them like this and then we can put the table in the middle. Wait. Wait, yeah, no, let's do that. Oh gosh, no, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Because it's going to annoy me. But we'll... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so th this is fine so far. And then over here, I think we might have a, a bigger table. I think we might have a... Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll make a bigger table. So we'll make it like this. And we'll make it wider as well. Though, is that fine? Maybe I'll scooch it over a bit. Because it's in, a bit... In, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's, we're never going to get anything done. No. No. <laughs> Please work. Why? The chairs hate me. Where did the back of that chair go? Oh. Yeah. Okay. That works. I just think it's a bit tight because if we're gonna have a tables here. Yeah, it's going to be a bit tight. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of that. These chairs that we just spent so long trying to put down. I have an idea that I think might work. So, tables like this. And we can have a... Yeah, there we are. So we, we can have a, a table for four and a table for two. That will work. That's perfect. Let's see if I can get the chairs right this time. No! They seem to hate me, like the first time. Yeah, there we are. And are these ones... No! There must be a knack to putting those down that I just don't have, or just don't understand. But, okay, so I think what we're going to do is, if I have it, I'm very unprepared, I don't seem to Okay, I was going to do a, uh, the jacaranda wood, I was going to use that as the little wall we have here, but I don't seem to have any. I thought I'd lost my carpenter's hammer as well though. Oh gosh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? That's not what I wanted. There we are. So I'm just going to chop down one of our jack o' trees. Uh, this one. And I think I'll chop down these two as well. And this one. Let's see, can I make a, so, jacaranda, jacaranda table, how do we make those? So, it's slabs on planks, we can do that. Um, this tree is looking a bit sad. And I need some food. I have garden soup today, which I made out of the masses and masses of zucchinis that my Mimiji's harvested. So, um, we don't need as many tables as we do chairs. That's definitely not enough though. Let's, let's make a few more uh, slabs. I really can't operate this computer today. So, 
That will give us six. Six tables. Let's see how far six tables get us gets us. Um so one two there. I love how they join up. Doesn't that look great? One two here. That table there. And we have two spare. So we can put those Let's get rid of that. Actually no, I think we'll put that back. Uh get this deck around the woods. And I'm just gonna build out like this just a bit and I think we'll put uh, I think we'll put logs here yeah <laughs> so that's that's okay I'm gonna put some more tables here no more chairs there rather and let's see why it's honestly annoying me so much I can't figure out the, the trick oh gosh okay so let's try this okay I understand why that did that because I was at, at an angle but when I'm not at the angle why does it keep doing it Ugh. no it's so annoying <coughs> but yeah that, that, that will do that will do okay so I'm not sure <laughs> okay so yeah this is fine I'm gonna get rid of that actually I think we'll have another table for two over here Let's put that in. Oops, no, didn't mean to do that. Oh gosh. No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ah, no. I don't even, I don't want to break that. Oh. Okay, so that's a bad idea. Don't sit on the seats. Um, I can't, I can't get it. What happened, what? No, can I rotate it? No, no, that's not what I wanted. Ugh. Okay, this is a bad idea. Let's try it like this. So, if people that sit on the seats are going to get stuck in the ceiling, that might be a bit of a problem. But let's try this now. And... No... Perhaps it just defaults that way. Perhaps that's why. Like this one will probably do it. Yeah. That's a bit odd. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah. That's that's cool. So I think we're gonna need another table. But apart from that, I think that's done. We've got. I'm gonna extend the roof a bit. And I do think dyeing it blue would be a good idea. Though I'm probably going to keep this grey because not only does blue not go with green, but I, I, I want it to be like a separate building. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so what what did I do? I want to get the I chopped down the jack around the trees because I wanted to use some of the logs to put in those carpenters bent carpenter blocks but I made them into blanks because I'm very clever and we'll just put these in like this yeah like that that's cool I need a few more this side and I think we're gonna be done just got the kitchen and yeah the, that bit over there to finish and that is it I'm gonna end the episode here oops I nearly forgot something uh, do I have a sign on me I don't think I do oh that's annoying you just have to listen to me instead so the code for the video is raccoon and the 
number of the episode, which I think is 45. So Raccoon is R-A-C-C-O-O-N 45. And I think in the magic of video editing, I'll put it on screen. But thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye.